Hi, my friends. As you've seen on my status, I was woke early this morning. Very emotional awakening too. Now last night, we had a friend come and visit us. And we started talking about families, relationships, things like that in general. Well, a lot of you don't know that I have some grown-up daughters in the 40s, which through life and some bad marriages, we don't see each other, you know, anymore. But I know they're there and I still love them. I also have some grown-up boys. But about 30 years ago, what woke me up this morning is talking about that. I never mentioned my little lad to our friend, which she knew about. Anyway, from four o'clock this morning, I was trying to get to sleep, waking him back up, thinking about my little lad, Peter. He was born perfect, until he had the medical intervention, which is, we all know, and I've had it, many of you had it, for your children, is the measles, mumps and rubella. Well, it is a pretty safe vaccination now. It is a proper vaccination. But Peter was one in a million that became ill through it and lost his life through that. It was all down to a doctor, which I've spoken about before, who gave him this vaccine. Why, he had the sniffles, a bit of a cold, and I said, you shouldn't be giving it in him. He said, OK, it's all right, it's only a little sniffle. But six months on, he started being very poorly. One night, I went into his room and thought he had passed away on me. But it wasn't, it was a seizure. But it happened too many times. And eventually, I kept saying it was epilepsy, and the hospitals kept saying, oh, no, it's not. Anyway, I decided to get uh, appoint a solicitor for his case for medical negligence. I was only young, like I said, 30 years ago. And one day I was out at work and I had a call and somebody said, you better go back home. So I went in and I found my ex-wife then with a little lad passed away in bed at 20 months old. Took a lot of trips to the hospitals at Lady Woods in Birmingham. So I went to my solicitor and said to him, right then, we need to work on this. His answer was, I'm sorry Nigel, I've lost all the slides and the blood tests. Me being so young, I didn't know what to do. So it was an open and shut case until I got his birth certificate, which I still have now, and that says, passed away due to an epileptic seizure. And them seizures are really bad. So I put this post on, just to let you know, I'm thinking of all of you, and all of us that have lost someone in our lives, and our parents, friends, dear friends, that we miss. So it's just a little message to say, keep checking on, your loved ones. Funny things are happening in this world now and we need to be careful what we're doing. Please check. And that is why, as I've said before, I am against the vaccine that is out now. I haven't had it and I'm absolutely fine, but thousands aren't. And it really upsets me. But anyway, I hope you don't mind this message and this little story. I'm hoping tonight I get a better sleep. Take care, take care of yourselves, all of you, and I love you. The closest thing to me right now, and she's not my biological daughter, is our Chelsea, and I love her to bits. And for the past 15 years, she's just like my own. And with Sue, that keeps me in a sane mind. All right, bye for now.